The artist we're going to learn about today is Henri Matisse. He was a French artist who lived from 1869 to 1954. And it was in the early 20th century that Matisse was among one of the first artists to paint in a new style called Fauvism. This is a style that, in this style, he tended to use bright colors and a lot of really thick brush strokes. And just like any new style, since it was new, it was often criticized, so not everybody really liked it. In fact, one critic called his style Fauvism, which means wild beast. So what he ended up doing next is he developed a style that included a lot of patterns and form. And you can see in these different rooms here, he used a lot of patterns and detailed patterns and form. But later in life, he actually fell ill and he wasn't able to paint anymore. So he began to create art using paper collage, which you can see a picture here as well as here. So here is some actual footage of Henry Matisse cutting. He couldn't paint anymore, but he would take these scissors and he would actually cut these large images out. Very intricate, as you can see. So here is Matisse making his own paper cutouts. And you can tell how intricate they are. They're rather large. And then he would very meticulously, he would place them on a paper to get an idea of exactly what he was creating. And then once he decided that he liked it, he would then start putting them up on a wall and he would have a helper. So you can see how he used a lot of bright colors and patterns, and you can see some of his large murals as he created these patterns and had them placed up. Here is where he would have the helper pin them for him and he would direct of how to move it. He used a lot of movement and colors and lines and shapes inside of each of his art pieces, as you can see. The style that we're going to do create today includes the goldfish. So Matisse used actually these goldfish in nine of his paintings. It's part of a series in his Fauvism style. So notice when you look at this painting here, your eye is immediately drawn to the orange in the goldfish. And in Fauvism, you'll know that the, you, the color is really bright and it stands out while the colors in the background tend to be a little bit more toned down. So the green is a little bit of a lighter green, you have a lighter pink. And just like we've practiced with our primary colors and now we're jumping into these other colors just like in Fauvism, you think about the strong contrast, and that's what artists tend to use, uh, the Fauvism artists used to create in their art. And Matisse was actually best friends with Picasso, and so this is something that they, you know, often shared. So a little bit of history about the goldfish uh, for 1912 is that goldfish were actually, the fish itself were not introduced until the 17th century. So he actually painted this painting when he stayed in Morocco and this is where you know goldfish were out in bowls on tables and this is where people stared and daydreamed at the fish for hours. So they seem to symbolize peace and tranquility to him. I want you to think about where's the last place that you might have seen goldfish? Was it at a doctor's office or a dentist? You know you think about a lot of these other places to help bring calm they tend to have fish tanks. How does it feel for you if you've ever gone to see koi fish somewhere in a pond and watched them swim or just watched fish in a fish tank swim? Does it make you feel peaceful and calm and tranquil? So today that's what we're gonna create is we're gonna create our own version of Henri Matisse's goldfish. Okay, 
So today we're going to be working on our Matisse drawings, the goldfish that he did in 1912. And he felt that the goldfish were just something that was so tranquil and wonderful um, to look at and almost like you could just daydream while staring at them. So we're going to start off with doing the fish bowl itself and then we'll add the table and the flowers and then we'll do the finishing touches with our goldfish and paint next week and have it portrait style. I have the cheat sheet right next to me on how we're going to do it. The first thing I need you to do is draw an oval. Try to have it more near the middle of your paper. And then we're going to draw two lines going up. And what we're going to then do is we'll add a rainbow on top to connect the two pieces. Don't worry if it's not perfect. And a rainbow on the bottom. And then we're going to do another rainbow on top and connect it with an upside down rainbow. That's going to help us have our water level, what looks like water in there. Now the next thing we're going to do is step three and here starting at, you know, on the outside of your fish bowl. I'm going to do a big kind of curve and come back up. The next thing we want to do is we're going to add it, give it that 3D look to it. And <clears throat> how we're going to do that is we're going to draw the table itself. Okay. So we're going to do a line coming off of each side of our table and then we're going to connect it with an upside down rainbow. Good. What we're going to do then is we're going to add our four legs. So think about curving away from the side. With this one, we're going to do two legs. We're going to have one big, wide one, one skinny one. And then on your other side, you can do the same thing. I always start kind of with the outside first. And then do my inside one. Perfect. Alright, next we want to kind of break up our paper a little bit and we're going to draw our horizon line, something that kind of breaks up the paper a little bit for us. So I just want to do a fun line like this and I'm not going to go into my bowl and then I'm going to go on the outside. So it kind of breaks it up in a fun way. Good, the next thing, let's add in some of our leaves. So down on this side, what we can do is we can draw one long line. And then I do a big kind of M. And I do a dot away from it. And what I then do is I connect it. So it almost looks like a heart. And here's one leaf. You could leave the line like this or you can draw a little wavy line inside it. We'll make another one too. So if it if you want it to go in front of your leg, we'll do it again. I'm gonna do an M, do a dot, and then you connect that. That's how you get that leaf. Now if you don't want to see your table leg, because we're putting it in front of this table leg, you just erase your line. So then he had in his picture a lot of flowers. So let's add in under here, let's add in a bunch of different 
wavy kind of flowers. We'll do a few little circles like this and then we can do some wavy fun circles all around it like that. You could always add in some more. And then on this side, let's have some of those big branches. So maybe coming behind the table, I'm going to draw two lines like this close to each other, curving. And I could do my a W this time. And because I'm close to the paper, the edge, maybe I'll do a dot there. And I'm going to have it go off of my paper. And this one I'll have my wavy line inside. And coming off of the next one here, let's do another one. Make this longer if you want it really tall. Just wavy. Have another line coming off of that. Maybe another one over here. And add some more leaves. Remember, you could do the W, a dot. If you get good at it, you don't need to have the dots anymore. You could draw your own. Okay. You can have a small one. Then in this top right corner, we're going to add in these big flowers. So I'm going to start with a big circle and then I just kind of do this crazy wavy, almost like an egg shape. And your next one we're going to do almost like it's overlapped, so we curve around and do another wavy line. So maybe do about some four big ones, three to four. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in our fish. So you could draw a fish any way that you want, but I know for me it's easier. I just kind of start with this curve and then I do two lines coming off of them and then I connect it. So you can make a really long kind of a backward C if you want or U. Do your lines and connect it. So make as many as you want. They could be big or small. From there, you could add in some more details in your fish tank if you want. And some seaweed, a little fish hop.